Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us again today. It's the last smooth day Tuesday <laughs> for July. We always look forward to being able to come together in the area's only live local talk and entertainment show, Virginia, this morning. Amy Lacey's here. That's and we me. are proud to be the host of this one of a kind program. I'm Bill Bevins. And we know that you have a choice of programming that you can watch during the 9 to 10 a.m. hour. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know another time in history when there have been so many choices <laughs> for what you can be watching, but you are here and we are delighted to have you and delighted that you've tuned in to watch our live show. Monday was a pretty nice day. I mean, yeah, you know, we had that gorgeous weekend, and then yesterday was it was kind of we sat outside and had dinner outside last oh, night. Oh, I love those. I love yeah. when there the humidity is down, yep. and you can just go out there and you can get them some fresh air, and you can just enjoy and relax yeah. and yeah. be. It was it was nice last night, and uh, you know we were just you were talking about how it's kind of hazy outside this morning, kind of overcast. Yeah. But it was nice and cool on the ride in too. It was, you know, I, you can almost tell, almost tell, because, you know, we'll have second summer sometime in October, but yeah. once you can feel that the seasons are kind of shifting slightly, at least for a day. A day, yeah, I was going to say. But then, you know, Virginia, <laughs> sometimes we can have all four seasons in the matter of 12 hours. Yeah. So. so, yeah, it could work out that way. And obviously we've got a, a, a lot of stuff packed in today's show speaking of a lot of things happening in one day there's a lot happening because we do have you know music guests we mm. have a little bit of everything coming That's up today today too all right it's time for us to do a little preview of what we're talking about share a few highlights of what you're going to see on today's show including our fun feature we call everywhere you are this is where we get to peek at some of your highlights of your life people places and things are often highlighted and we are going to take a look at a submission that hopped into our inbox. Take a look at this. Oh, I right. see. I oh, see somebody, the play on words. Speaking the of hopping. music, there's some music right there going on <laughs> in the background, I bet. All right, we'll find out who sent that in and do some more show and share that's coming up in just a few minutes. And we love the food holiday calendar in these parts. And today is listen to this National Cheesecake Day. What's yeah. not to love about that? Clarence Johnson is a local Richmond caterer who specializes in pies, cheesecakes, and pound cakes. He's going to make a creamy strawberry cheesecake. And we can't wait to do some quality control. I already have my fork ready to go. What's your job today? Well, I'm gonna eat some cheesecake. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty good life. It's it's <laughs> it's work, but you know, we, we we get through it. And we love to have live music to go along with that. And you are gonna love this group. The dynamic musical duo has already made a name for themselves on Virginia. Yeah, Virginia this morning and the Virginia music scene. We were introduced to their signature sound four years ago and always have a super, super day with them. We're jazzed to have them perform live in our studio. Tiara and Andrew are here and are gonna make some smooth sounds in a few minutes. We'll enjoy a song or two, but first there's a little preview for you. Tiara is the coolest person I know because you said, you know, what are you going to do? And she's like, I'm just going to sway. Yeah, and that yeah, is like, yeah, talk yeah. about having a great morning. Yep. Like, I'm going to sway. Set the mood. Absolutely. Well, of course, smooth sounds keep on theme with Smooth Day Tuesday. Talking about smooth and the coolest person I know, let's go to Tom Patton, mm. who has a look at the forecast oh, and a has a friend today. Yeah. How you guys doing? Hi. Good, Tom. This is my man, Robbie. Robbie! Hey, Robbie! They're saying hi, Robbie. Here, go ahead and say hi. You, you can use my mic. Hi! Hey! <laughs> Robbie's, Robbie loves the weather, and he comes to visit me sometimes. And I got to tell you a story about, first of all, where do you go to school, Robbie? I go to Jackson Davis. Jackson Fantastic. Davis. Okay, very nice. good. And you'll be in third grade, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Very exactly good. Right? Am I right? So yes. Robbie was here. Uh, we're trying to figure out when. It was last, uh, not quite a year or maybe about a year ago. And he said to me, I remember when I was here, you used a piece of bark as your mark where you stood. And, I, and, and it's true. I, I have a piece of bark, and I put the piece of bark down. And it's usually good for a couple minutes. And then I walk, and I'll kick the bark. And then I have no idea where I'm supposed to stand each time, and he remembered that. So, I'll get right to the point. So what'd you make for me? 
I made a gecko. So he oh. made me a gecko to use nice. as my mark. Very so nice. A, the gecko goes wonderful in the garden. The gecko will get along with all the other animals in here. We got squirrels and rabbits and such. And I'm not going to easily kick a gecko, am I? No. no I don't never. know if you guys can see that. Not. So now the no. gecko <laughs> is our mark. I'll always know where to stand. So if Yay. I'm off camera, uh, or if I'm on camera and I'm a little off or something, well, it's. Well, I won't blame the gecko, but it just means I'm not using my bark anymore, right? Well, thank you, Robbie, thank for, you, Robbie. for, Robbie. for Robbie. centering up Tom Patton. They just said <laughs> thank keeping you for, him corral. for keeping me uh, in my place. <laughs> tell him I said you're welcome. He said, tell him I said you're welcome. Yay! All right, Robbie, I, I think you can help me with the weather now, right? All right, center button with the one with the little mark. There you go. All right, wait till the gra graphic comes up. Hit it. There you go. What's the temperature, Robbie? 77. 77, right? Good. Hit it again. Go at your own pace, man. You're in charge here. Other temperature? 70s, right? There you go. Let's move on. Everyone's got it. Yeah, it's a smart group out there watching. Let's click it one more time. No rain right now. We do have a good deal of clouds. There's going to be a front coming in our direction, Robbie. And that may give us a couple thunderstorms later this afternoon. Hit it again. It is going to bring some warm air. It's going to be in the 90s tomorrow. You like the 90s? No. Nope. All right. Well, I, I, do. Soccer, I don't mind the 90s. Oh, you play soccer? Oh, yeah, you, you don't like the 90s. You're, you're more of a 60s guy then. Yeah. All right, hit it again, Robbie. Let's move along here. So today's forecast, what's going to be? It's going to be 87. Good job. Hit it again. Some afternoon showers and storms. Hit me up one more time. My gecko man. Tonight, 73 with a couple evening showers or storms. Let's go one more time. A couple more times, in fact. All right, so this one you got to go through. See, 2 o'clock, there are the storms and showers. Hit it again. It's going to go through every. I remember all those pauses I was putting in. You're like, what are you doing? That's what I'm doing. It's pausing it. Four o'clock. There you go. Five o'clock. Keep going. Seven o'clock. Right? How fun is this? You get to command the weather when it's going to happen. <laughs> all right. Hit it again, Robbie. Keep going. One more time. Let's see if that seven day forecast appears there. Because it's going to get hot, as we said. One more. Hit it. Click it. There you go. It'll stop at three days. Look at that 95, thir that's not good soccer playing weather. This gecko doesn't care though. Gecko will adapt. He's not gonna move either. Hit it one more time. 97 on Friday. All right, now you can say Virginia this morning will continue right after this. Can you say that? Virginia this morning will continue right after this. Tuesday, Whew. Virginia this morning is the place where you can find out what's hot and happening in and around Central Virginia and beyond. Mm -hmm. I'm Amy Lacey. Of course, Mr. Bill Bevins is here too. What a fantastic Tuesday already. Yeah, we're having a great time already. We hope your day is going to be a smooth one. July the 30th, the beauty of this show is we feature a variety of things, food, fun, fashion, financial topics, music, and a lot more and we have something for everyone again today so Robbie I, you know, I think the Tom and Robbie act that works I want to see more of that on Virginia this morning I think Robbie is definitely Before he goes back to school Robbie should be uh, back in again he might be the youngest intern that there ever has been but <laughs> I think I think he has a future I mean just the gecko in itself is yeah, perfect that's nice I got to get out there and, and get a picture with uh, Tom and the gecko it's yeah. important, but yeah. never, yeah. never kicking the gecko. You can't ever. You always just have to observe the gecko in the place that a it is. Piece of bark. <laughs> That's definitely a step up. I've used an earring before. I've used, you know, you just kind of have to find whatever's what around. Yeah. Exactly. Now he's got a gecko. <laughs> All right, folks. Now is a great time to do a recap for those of you who are just tuning into Virginia this morning. Of course, we always look forward to opening up our inbox to showcase fun viewer pictures and videos that happen along your life's journey our Everywhere You Are segment is where we'll do just that and we open the lid just a little bit later. All right, folks, chef and caterer Charles Johnson is here. He's going to help us celebrate National Cheesecake Day. Ta -da! And he's going to go above and beyond to add strawberries to this one he's going to make for us. Get your forks ready. We'll be digging in a little bit later on in today's live show.
And we cannot wait to enjoy the sounds of Tiara and Andrew. There they are, cool, ready to go this morning. Mm -hmm. And we absolutely can't wait for that musical performance. Absolutely looking forward to it. Well, if you want to stay connected to our fun and informative show and want to rewatch any of our segments today, you can do just that by visiting our show website at virginiathismorning.com. All right, folks, if you have access to Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV and Android TV channels, you can watch it there as well. If you need the app, just visit the app store on your device and search WTVR Richmond. The best part, it is absolutely free. Free is the perfect price tag mm -hmm. for everything. Well, before we had to break, we do want to check in with Renewal by Anderson. This segment is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson. We all know how hot it is outside, but that doesn't mean you have to live in the heat inside your home, too. And if you have a problem with your windows or doors, that's likely where, what we're talking about here. I'm here with our good friend Lucy O'Shields of Renewal by Anderson. She's going to tell us how upgrading your problem windows and doors can help make your home comfortable inside. And Renewal by Anderson has been a fantastic uh, they've got a fantastic lightning sale going on right now. Lucy, good to see you again. It's been a while, so welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be here. Let's talk about the windows themselves. Let's start with them. They're made of your exclusive FiberX composite material, and it's very different from vinyl, isn't it? It is. A lot of people looking to do those replacement projects don't realize that there's an alternative to that vinyl window out there. Mm -hmm. You know, vinyl is plastic. <laughs> it's, it's the word, right? Yeah. Um, it's a soft material, so that means it's going to bend and warp under those extreme temperatures. And our Fibrex material is actually two times the strength of vinyl, so it's not going to bend and warp in hot and cold temperatures. You know, a lot of homeowners, if they're looking for that comfortable product that's going to last for decades, they're going to want to choose our Fibrex material. Makes a big, big difference, and we do have extremes, as, as we've all seen in the last couple of months. You can you also sell and install entry doors, and a new front door system really can do wonders for your home, can it? Oh, in my opinion, I think your front door is a person's first impression to your home. So we want to make you have a great first impression. If you've experienced, you know, your door sagging or maybe it's um, stuck in the frame and it's hard to open and close, well, that can cause drafts and even dirt. Even the gaps can let in some pest every now and then, mm -hmm. Ugh, right? So, you know, just like our windows, our doors are actually custom uh, built for that precise fit. And it's going to leave your home much more energy efficient. And unlike, you know, let's say wood doors, it's not going to split or warp or crack under those, like we yeah. said, extreme temperatures. And they look great. <laughs> they look <laughs> and wonderful. And there's that. Yeah, they look great. <laughs> All right, uh, you have a, a fantastic window and door lightning sale going on right now. Can you give us some details on that? Yes, it's actually our biggest dollar discount of the year. Wow. Now through August 31st, you can get $325 off every window, $879 off every entry door and patio door. Plus, we are getting a free upgrade to our smart sunglass. Uh -huh. and you you can get it all with no money down, no payments, and no interest for an entire year. That's great. And like you said, big, big sale. Big yeah. sale. All right, call 804-352-3737 or visit vawindowreplacement.com to schedule your free appointment. You mentioned the free upgrade to Smart Sun Class. Uh, what's different about that? Oh, so our <laughs> our high performance low E4 Smart Sun Glass, right? That's a big title but it does big things. Mm -hmm. It is going to block 95% uh, of the sun's UV rays and it's through this special coating of silver oxide. It's actually 70% more energy efficient wow. than in the summer than standard dual pane glass. So it's not gonna uh, fade your couch or your carpets or your floors. You can open those blinds up and really let that sunlight in without it heating up your home. I think between the combination of our Fibrex material and our 
Smart Sunglass, I mean, it really is the best choice and best product out there and is going to keep your home comfortable year round. Always a pleasure visiting with Lucy. Once again, Renewal by Anderson's window and door lightning sales going on now through August 31st. Get $325 off every window and $879 off every patio door and entry door. And pay nothing for one year. Plus, you'll get a free upgrade to Renewal by Anderson's Smart Sun class. Call 804-352-3737 or scan that QR code or visit vawindowreplacement.com now to schedule your free appointment. And stick around, Virginia This Morning returns right after this. All right, folks, welcome back to our live show. Music has a way of putting us all in a good mood. We enjoy featuring all kinds of genres from jazz, R&B, country, pop, Americana, bluegrass, blues, whatever. Today, talented musical duo Hale, they hail from Brunswick County. They came in this morning, this talented husband and wife duo. Husband and wife working together. You get the extra credit just for that. <laughs> and they're taking part in the 2024 Rhythm of the River event that's happening this weekend. Right now, let's sit back and relax and enjoy the music stylings of Tierra and Andrew. Take it away, folks.
Woo. Sweet sounds indeed. <laughs> Very nicely done. Once again, that is the talented Tierra and Andrew. And folks, they're part of the musical lineup for the 2024 Rhythm of Rhythm, Rhythm on the River Festival that kicks off this Friday, August the 2nd, Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, 200 North Arthur Ashe Boulevard from 6 until 8 p.m. Fun continues after that night at Harry's at the Hofheimer from 9 p.m. until 1 a.m. They have events both Saturday and Sunday for all the details because there's a lot going on. We'll post the link on our show website later today, virginiathismorning.com. And these folks aren't packing up just yet. We'll enjoy another selection from them in our second half hour. Live show returns in less than three minutes. Welcome back to our live show. Just before the break, we heard a selection from the talented acoustic duo, Tierra and Andrew, and they were incredible. And they are part of the musical lineup at the 2024 Rhythm on the River event that kicks off this Friday. Joining us this morning to tell us all about the 2024 Rhythm on the River lineup is the organizer, Jamil JC, along with Sudan Anu. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So you tell me that this all started a couple years ago with the vision. Jamil, what was that vision in and how, how did it come to be? Well, we wanted to bring independent artists together. We were actually supposed to start in 2020. Okay. Uh oh. It was supposed <laughs> to be. You know what happened. Yeah. It was supposed to be the first Friday in April and of 2020. Yeah. So I had started talking to the VMFA around August of 2019 and we were talking and saying, okay, we're going to put this together. COVID hits. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then the world yeah. changed. Yeah. Right. Definitely. So we had to push it back until 2021. And when the VMFA started having live events, Rhythm on the River was the first event. So that's why instead of being in April, we're in August now. Okay. Fantastic. Well, you, you, you got through that and obviously yes. got it up and running. And this year you've got, uh, you got some, obviously some fantastic talent yeah. and yeah. a lot of it, it, each different event has a different flavor to it as well. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, like we said, we start Friday at the VMFA because it started at the VMFA. Afterwards, I will be DJing at Harry's at Hallfimer mm -hmm. from nine until one. The following day, we have a brunch. Okay. At Harry's at Hallfimer from eleven to three. So you're gonna just sleep there. Yeah. Yes, I'm yeah. gonna sleep there. Basically. I have a whole bed upstairs on a rooftop. I see the pictures. Yeah. And then right yeah. after that. At from 8 p.m. until midnight at Loso, formerly known as Jungle Room, I'm actually DJing there with three other DJs. Mm. And then that's that Sunday, because that's Saturday. That Sunday, we're gonna be at the Lynn, formerly known as Saint La Vin, mm -hmm. at 15, 15 North 17th Street from 4 to 8. That's an all-female event, um, DJs and poets. Nice. So, uh, all female. Tell us about that. Can you uh, fill us in on that? Oh, a it's, bit? listen. It is some real um, amazing female poets that's going to be a part of that. They got the DJ Friday Love. Yes. Um, will be the DJ. She's a female DJ that's uh, bilingual. So um, I'm eager to hear that and all that's going on. You forgot about Thursday though. Oh, oh yes, I Thursday added took I, Thursday yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually <laughs> added a Thursday event. Last night, right. which will be at Soul Rebel in Petersburg, 106 West Old Street. Um, that's going to be from 7 to 10 p.m. Mm. So different so river. That's on the Appomattox. Yes. Right, yes. right. Different yes. river, but we. You want to touch all the rivers. All the rivers. Yeah, all yeah, the yeah. rivers. <laughs> Sudan, you said that you know the two of you have worked separately before, but you really wanted to work together. And what better way to do it than this kind of magical music oh, experience? Man. It's been awesome. Uh, every year is a new amazing uh, artistry that we bring on. Um, I know in years past, we sometimes we been so big, we had to have it in two different locations at the VMFA. Um, we've been inside, we've been out, you know, I mean, depending on the weather. Yes, um, probably, shout right. out to the young kid that was at, he got a bright future. Robbie. <laughs> right, yeah. Robbie got a bright future, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So we just decided to be able to um, 
you know, display independent artists because I feel like we get focused a lot on A-list celebrities and not focus on the homegrown artists. And um, and he came up with the idea, and we've been ushering that ever since. The uh, you know, adding the poets. Yeah. That's such a that's such a natural bridge that a lot of folks haven't crossed. I am a poet. Yeah. Wow. And I started off as a poet. I mean, I DJ now, but I started yeah. off as a poet. That is, I mean, that really is. I mean, you know, without poetry, music doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. <laughs> you know, there's a great there's a great quote I think from Irving Berlin. Somebody asked him about playing the, this song or whatever, and his wife said, "You wrote da 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 da." He wrote. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I just think um, poets bring um, a sense of humanity as well. Um, we talk about the issues sometimes, you know, most people are afraid to talk about. Yeah. So we are able to get into a form because I know the music sometimes distracts us away from, um, I mean, Tiara is a poet, you know, through music. Sure. You yes. know, so, you know, being able to be, uh, put yourself out there and allow people to uh, be vulnerable. Yeah, those yeah. words are beautiful and that's what kind of brings you in. Mm -hmm. And then, like, like I said, with poetry and then we're bringing in the music as well, so it's about poetry, music, and we have visual art as well. Oh yeah, with, can't um, forget about that. Her art. Her art. Yes, so it's the visual aspect and the performance aspect that you're getting right there at the VMFA. Good for the body, mind, and spirit. Thanks for all the yes, hard indeed. work you guys yes, put into I this. Love it. It's the you. big payoff this you. weekend, and really looking forward to it. A bunch of different venues. We'll have all the information up on our website, so you make sure you Thank see you. it. All Thank right. you. All right, folks, it's the 2024 Rhythm on the River, and it kicks off Friday, August 2nd. That is this Friday at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, 200 North Arthur Edge Boulevard, 6 till 8 p.m. Enjoy the after party that night at Harry's at Hoffheimer's from 9 p.m. until 1 a.m. They have events Thursday, we're learning, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for a complete list of everything. You know you want to go to all of them. We'll post a link on our show website later today at virginiathismorning.com. And Petersburg on Thursday. Petersburg on, on Thursday. Thursday yeah. Yeah. Soul Rebel. Soul yeah. Rebel. Our, our live, live show's show is coming back. Yep. Happy Tuesday. We love seeing where you've been and what you've been doing. We like to go everywhere you are living vicariously through you. All right. Please continue to send in your summer fun shots so we can share them on our live show. You're going to love this one. Lawrence Deal emailed this photo in. Oh, my goodness. If you look really, really closely, take a look there, kind of to the left of the statue. You will spot a frog that he stumbled upon. You got to love nature and the little visitors that we have. When we flash that picture of him, I'm going like, he didn't get the head of the, uh, of the statue. I'm like, oh, that's not what we're looking at. <laughs> we're looking at Mr. Toad back there. That's right. All right. Sammy Dawson and her daughter enjoyed a beach getaway together and that is a wonderful shot. No better place to be than hearing those waves and feeling the sand between your toes. Nice. And we gotta love these two. Our own Evan Armour shared these photos with us. Check them out. She and her family enjoyed some quality time together at the Metro Richmond Zoo. It was their first visit and they had a great time there. The giraffes always very popular. Mm -hmm. Evan tells us Reed was most excited to see the giraffes and the flamingos. Yep. But little sister Greer like the rhinos and monkeys best. I don't know. I love them all. <laughs> what a great time. What a great place to take the kids. Having fun with your family, friends, and pets. We like to share in the adventure while staying connected to you. Please send us your videos and pictures or comments to our Virginia This Morning Facebook or Instagram page. Or make it easy on yourself. Just email us at virginiathismorning at wtvr.com. All right, folks, today's musical performers are a popular acoustic duo who perform all over Central Virginia, including this weekend. We just heard about the 2024 Rhythm on the River event. Earlier, we enjoyed a selection from them. In case you missed it, we will have it on our show website by early this afternoon. Just check out virginiathismorning.com. But one more time, live here in the studio, here is Tierra and Andrew with another special original selection.
So much for brightening up our morning oh my goodness Tierra and Andrew we, we have thoroughly enjoyed every minute with you thank you so much they are part of the musical lineup for the 2024 rhythm on the river festival of course that kicks off this Friday August 2nd at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts 200 North Arthur Arch Boulevard from 6 to 8 p.m. the fun continues later that night at Harry's at the Hofheimer from 9 until 1 a.m. They have events both Saturday and Sunday. For all the details, we will post a link on our show website later today at virginiathismorning.com. Absolutely beautiful, and you make me want to do the sway <laughs> like you've been doing all morning. Bill, what's coming up after the break? All right, thank you very much, folks. I'll tell you what's coming up. I'm here with caterer Clarence Johnson, and we still have time to find my fort somewhere. Anyway, we're going to have some strawberry cheesecake that he's going to put together for us when we return from a real quick break. Folks, thanks for hanging out with us on Virginia this morning. Back in February of this year, our next guest made his debut on our live show when he helped us celebrate National Pound Cake Day. And if that day wasn't good enough for you, <laughs> we knew we had to have him come back to mark the occasion of another sweet food holiday. Mm -hmm. Clarence Johnson is a caterer who specializes in pies, cheesecakes, and pound cakes. And today is National Cheesecake Day. Yes, it is. So we invited him back to make a strawberry variation. Welcome back. Thank you. Glad to be here. This is very a summer dish. I mean, it, this is perfect for summertime. Strawberries are in. Of course, you know, it's nice and cool. So you're going to help us out and show us how you make this magic happen. Yes, um, so um, typically um, you would bake a cheesecake, mm -hmm. um, but in this case, um, we're going the no-bake route. Which Even better for the hot weather. Yeah. Yes, and um, it's a whole lot faster Yeah. Um, doing it the, the no-bake way. Um, Don't but want the oven on in the house anyway. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's already too warm, so, yeah. so um, it's a very simple, quick recipe. Um, we start off with um, two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. Um, it's best when it's room temperature, so it's soft and it's better to mix up. You don't get those lumps in it so exactly. much. Of course, our room's a little cold. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a warm room might have been better. Yes, because ultimately you want your cheesecake to be creamy. Yes, okay. you So do. you don't sure. want chunk, yeah. chunks and lumps. Um, then with that, just use a couple of sugar, and um, what we want to do is go ahead and cream that up till it's nice and smooth. What did we all do before we had the stand mixer like this? The Hand no mixing. Yeah. Don't even want to <laughs> we had to use a spoon. We had to stir, but these things are so great. And it takes. Uh, it took a whole lot longer. Yeah. Doing it by hand. Yes, it did. Where with this, it, it only takes half of that. Yeah. Like a minute or two. So basically, all we get here is cream cheese and sugar. Yeah. Okay. That's primarily the the base of it. Um, you know, get that get that um, mixed up together and it looks like we're almost there. About how long should you mix it just until you see that it looks kind of whipped? Yeah, okay. almost. Um, it, you want it to where it's almost like smooth. Okay. Mm. I mean, I would take that and put it on a bagel right now and that, we could call it a day right <laughs> yeah, there and I could, would be a very could. happy camper. 
All right, looks like we're there. There's a lot more to go yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to basically have that consistency okay. where it's nice and creamy, um, but to add more creaminess to it, um, use um, eight ounce, eight ounces of sour cream. And a little more tang too, mm -hmm. to it. Because it gives it, it gives the, um, give it more balance. Yeah. With the, with the sweetness. And creamier. Exactly. Um, and then from there, um, just some vanilla. Um, and the good thing about this, you can, you know, use just about any type of flavoring that you want to yeah. do to flavor it any type of way. You can put like some um, lemon, mm. you know, raspberry, even chocolate emulsion in there or extract. And just eyeball it roughly about a tablespoon or so. Okay. Um, and then just a splash of um, lemon juice just to balance it out. Very nice. And then mix that up. And turn it back on again. It doesn't take long at all. It's just a matter of just making sure everything is incorporated. Rich, when did you start? Because baking is, is an exact kind of thing. It's not like cooking where we got a pinch of this or some of that for this long. Look, yeah. it, 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 baking, you really have it's to be science. on target. Yeah. It, it, it is, it is. So um, when did you start? Um, well, I started off making pies mm -hmm. um, and pound cakes. Uh, then cheesecakes, I just started doing them a few years ago uh, because I used to go to Cheesecake Factory uh -huh. and I will always get a chocolate chip, uh, chocolate chip cookie dough yep. cheesecake. Um, and then one day I went and they said they no longer make it. Oh, no. So, 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 I'll do it. <laughs> so, so I was like, I'll okay, well, I'll, I'll go home and do it. And I just, when I did it, I took it to another level. I made, um, made the cheesecake and the whole bottom of the cheesecake, where it's normally graham cracker crust, yeah. I made edible cookie dough oh, as the base. Clarence. Nice. Oh. <laughs> nice. So and that then, got you started. Exactly. Yeah, it's funny, it, it, you hear that all the time. It's like, okay, so uh, nobody's doing this and I think I can do it even better. So exactly. why not try it? Take it a step over. Yeah. All right, and so um, in my pan, um, I just have, it's just a combination of graham crackers, um, sugar, and um, some butter that I put together and just put it in the oven for like um, eight minutes just to um, make sure it doesn't move. And I see you have the springboard pan. Yes. Can you make it in any other kind of pan or is this you, the easier You one? could, but it, it's easier using a spring foam pan, um, especially when it's, um, when you're ready to cut it. But well, before we do that, um, we want to add whipped cream. Oh. Um, this is what keeps it together. Okay. Because normally when you bake it, um, you use eggs and eggs is pretty much what Binding keeps it together. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. The whipped cream is going to do that job for us. Exactly. Okay. Um, and the, the key. So far I love all the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> and the key, the key to it um, when you're putting it in, you don't want to mix it. You just kind of want to fold it in. Very nice. And what, and you don't want to mix it because? Um, it, it'll fall flat. Okay. So by just folding it together, you're getting that form that you need. Exactly. You can see it does make it a bit stiffer. Yeah. And there okay. you go. In she goes. Wow. Oh, wow. Delicious. Wow. What a great food holiday. <laughs> <laughs> And then smooth it out. You're gaining weight, just watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you just smooth it out, um, and then um, you just pop it in the fridge um, for about uh, four hours. Um, sometimes I like to do it overnight. Yeah. Um, to let that set up. Um, what? And here we go. For the go. sake of live TV. Yeah. Here we go. Magically, <laughs> it is. It is four hours Magically, later. Magically, we have one. <laughs> So this is ultimately your finished product. And 
And the good thing about having a spring foam pan. You just take off the walls. Exactly. <laughs> and there it is, wow. beautiful. Gorgeous. And then strawberries. Yes. Or maybe blueberries even? Yes. Whatever. Raspberries. Yeah. Whatever you can imagine. Mm -hmm. That's that's the good thing about it, it's very and versatile. And you're all of the above. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, and you brought a very fancy knife today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring one of my, my good knives. <laughs> and we just get a plate for you guys. Yeah, plate for us is good. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't mind if we do. Appreciate it. All right. All right, Clarence, while you're cutting that, we're going to cut away for just a moment. He's going to stay with us because we're going to try some of this. And stick around, folks. Virginia, this morning, a little taste test coming up right after this. Stay with us. Love the recipes you see on the show? Visit virginiathismorning.com, click on the recipes tab, and find your favorites to try out on your own. Welcome back. Just about time to wrap things up, and we are ending the show with caterer Clarence Johnson, who is in the Virginia This Morning Kitchen. And of course, if you are interested in finding out more about a Taste of Heaven catering, a Taste of Heaven catering service, visit the link on our show website by early this afternoon, virginiathismorning.com. He made us some strawberry cheesecake in honor of National Cheesecake Day, and we, we want to let you do the presentation okay. with the strawberry while we're back. So, Clarence, this is basically a cream cheesecake, isn't it? Kind of? Uh, essentially. Yeah. Mmm. Beautiful. Can I add a little juice to that? Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Looks delicious. Very nice. And now for the moment of truth, <laughs> where you're celebrating National Cheesecake Day in And this style. is a no cook. If you're just joining us, there was no baking involved in this, so you don't have to heat up the oven and get the house all hot. It's all, it's very cool. And it's delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness, a taste of heaven is <laughs> right. <laughs> good, good name for the business. Let's try one more bite with more strawberry. Mmm. Mm. Perfect. Thank you, for mm -hmm. Thank you for, taste, for sharing a taste of heaven with <laughs> us today. Absolutely. A big shout out to all our guests today, including our friend Clarence Johnson, Renewal by Anderson, Jamil Jaycee, Sanu Anu, Tierra and Andrew, and most of all, thank you for watching. We are putting the final touches on our Wednesday show, and we look forward to sharing it with you tomorrow. Be sure to tune in beginning at 8.56 a.m., but in the meantime, enjoy this terrific Tuesday and do something fun for yourself. Maybe eat some cheesecake today. Maybe. May maybe. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Mmm. Mmm. This is delicious. That is fantastic. Thank you. What a great summer treat. You can do blueberries, raspberries, chocolate, whatever you want on the top of that. It's I think even nice. some orange on there. Ooh. Some citrus would be delicious. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to finish the whole thing before we go. <laughs> <laughs> There's more. <laughs> oh. mm.